We're here today to talk about the HT5000. This is a hog tool that Water Blasting Technologies has created in order to replace the traditional air rotated guns, floor cleaners, wall cleaners, and accessories produced by other manufacturers. The entire point of this is to eliminate the air driven accessories and the problems associated with the rotation of those pieces. With three simple components, the normal required 185 CFM air compressor is entirely eliminated. Here you have your hydraulic pump. Here you have your control valve. And here you have the hydraulic fluid tank and a cooler located right on top. Those three simple components and your normal air compressor is eliminated. And so is the reality of having to keep your bimode valve within 25 feet of your operator. Why is that necessary? Because the little return line, the air control line that controls your bimode uh, on off function, uh, there's a delay in that and it's unsafe to have it any greater than 25 feet. Well, our signal here is controlled via a 12 volt signal. So no matter where your, your tools are, whether it be a gun, as you see here, or it might be a floor cleaner, as you see here, the signal is always 12 volt. Simply illustrating here, no matter how far you are away from the pumping system, all you've got to do is add more hose. There is no buy mode necessary. It be the hand hog, the ground hog, a hog waller, doesn't matter. And because your switch is 12 volt, the signal is instantaneous to the pump unit. What was the impetus for the creation of the HT5000? I've owned air driven accessories from eight different manufacturers and own nearly a hundred of those accessories. Every one of those tools had multiple issues associated with air driven components. The first challenge is, is that those components require oil a hundred percent of the time. So your little dripper device that I'm sure all you contractors are familiar with, you got to be constantly on top of keeping that little reservoir filled with oil to ensure lubrication all the time. The second problem is the bimba valve that opens and closes your on off valve. That valve inevitably uh, becomes laden with oil and water. The water creates corrosion on the aluminum and pretty soon you have a problem with that valve turning on and off consistently. At that time you have a safety issue with your operators. When the operator releases the trigger on the gun he needs to rely on 100% pressure relief instantaneously. As corrosion and oil builds up in that bimba valve, uh, so reduces the, the amount of time and the reliability of that valve uh, opening and closing properly. So we've eliminated the necessity for lubrication to our uh, hydraulic driven rotary devices. Obviously the hydraulic fluid flowing through it is the lubrication. One of the great downfalls of the air driven accessories is that this bimode valve has to be kept 25 feet away from your air driven accessory. Why? Well, the air signal to switch this unit on and off comes through this small quarter inch air line. And if you get any more than 25 feet away, the, uh, there can be a great delay in the uh, relieving of pressure from that air line and it causes a hazard to the uh, operator. So additionally, the necessity that this device be 25 feet from the gun or the groundhog uh, means that it's in a very dirty environment. And if you look here, uh, we just pulled this right out of the service shop. So it's just come back in from a job. And notice all of the dirt and crud that is in that work area. With the hydraulic driven accessories, this, uh, the bimode valve is clear back at the pump. It does not need to be in the dirt zone, so to speak. If your men are working on scaffolding or in an area where it's difficult to, to, to access and get around, this device weighs about 35 pounds. And if you're working up in the air, it's got to be taken up there with you. So it's a, it's a real pain and a safety concern to, uh, to have to keep this thing within 25 feet of you. Additionally, look at the oil reservoirs on these. In all my years in business, 
I've not seen oil reservoirs much larger than that. So uh, any of you out there that are using these devices, you know what a pain it is to have to look after that oil reservoir in that awfully dirty environment all day, every day. With the uh, hydraulic rotary tools, there is no oil reservoir. There is no lubrication necessary. Zero to 4,000 RPMs, very low maintenance. Uh, and you don't have to lug this thing around with you everywhere you go. Uh, you keep your bi-mode valves and your maintenance uh, pieces right on the pump in a clean, safe environment away from the harsh environment of the work area itself. Notice how milky that fluid is. And that's exactly what we find. It's impossible to remove the, air, the uh, water from the air. And so it turns the oil all milky and destroys the veins inside of your air-driven air gun. And with all that grit, the likelihood of that grit getting in your oil and then being transferred to your air motor is very, very high. And if any of you have had these air motors apart, you know they're very low tolerances inside there. It's, uh, dirt is extremely harmful to those air motors. And every time you got to replace one is six, seven hundred dollars not to mention the time it takes you to do so. The, the watery oil that you saw a minute ago in the bi-mode valve, of course, is sent right through here. But what happens to that oil? Well, it comes in the air motor and it's exhausted right back out. So whoever is operating this gun is constantly getting bombarded by whatever oil is coming through this. Gets all over his clothes, makes for slippery conditions. Um, we've had created slippery scaffolding. It creates a fall hazard. Um, and in any event, it just creates a nasty work environment where you've got an oily substance on your, your rain suit. And then of course, all the dirt that's coming off of whatever you're removing sticks to that. And it's just, it's, it's, it's nasty. I mean, only way to say it. We try to sugarcoat it, but there's really not any way in this instance to do so. Now, oil lubricates, but water swells the veins inside of these air motors. And it's been my experience owning over 80 of these devices from eight different manufacturers without substantial results from any one of them, whether it be, um, you know, different manufacturers use different air motors. So it might be Clico, Chicago Pneumatics, Ingersoll Rand, uh, a variety of these, but they're all the same. They all use the same material for the veins and they all swell with water. And because it's impossible to remove all the water moisture from the uh, air supply, it tears up the air motors in a relatively short period of time. The HT5000 incorporates up to three bi-mode valves, making it possible to run three tools from the same pump. The HT5000 in its current configuration utilizes a Jetstream 6 GPM pump, although it can be upgraded to 7.3. It also incorporates a 10 micron bag filter and a 1 micron absolute cartridge filter before the water reaches the high pressure pump. So if you're a contractor like I am, I urge you to consider the usefulness, the practicality, and the financial benefits of owning the HT5000. You eliminate air compressor that's sucking six gallons of diesel fuel an hour. You eliminate the need to keep your bi-mode valves 25 feet from your operators. You keep your bi-mode valves in a clean, safe environment. There are so many benefits to this machine that uh, I hope you'll consider it. Give us a call. Come down and see us. See this baby at work in our fleet, and I'm sure you'll be convinced that it's the right tool for you right now.